Weather alert. Be here all just Dave Sluss, he's got the weather. Yep, Rich you. Oh, Rich Mike's so. Yeah, that's who we're playing. That's who we're playing. A storm tracker weather alert. Good evening. Thanks for being with us, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Deborah Knapp. We are tracking two potential problems over the next Steve. few days. First of all, tomorrow's commute. Snow that fell. Hell. Likely turn to ice tonight. Bobby. Meteorologist Dave Selesky. The timer's going off, Mrs. Vicky. You know what? Just get your taquitos out. Okay, get, the little, get the little baking tray. Okay, you know where the baking tray is. Put however many that you would like to have there on the tray and put them in the oven. Okay? All right. It is simple. Simple, simple, simple. Hey, meteorologist. Wait, where did it go? Hopefully. I said that died. I'm gonna be careful with this shit. Ashton Kutcher. Oh. Jordan loves Miley. And Miley loves Jordan. Follow us on each other. Ma. Ma. Good. I need your help, Vicky. Really? I'm putting these Where's in the- Where's my other shampoo? Because if that fucking shit's gone, I'm gonna fucking flip. If that's- Sorry. Oh, right here. No fucking time. I'm sorry, Vicky. Whatever! I need you to put the tears in the oven. I can't do it. Yes, you can. I, I can't handle the oven. I can't handle it. Good then! Who in the fuck did this to my... Okay, Dave, thank you. Well, a weekend last of snow leaves behind the threat of ice because while the snow has mostly melted, temperatures are dropping. Vicky, I need help. Icy roads tomorrow morning. K2 Spot Mines live along West Burnside Forest now. One of the usual trouble spots during ice and snow. Bob, what is the plan there for tonight and tomorrow morning? I need help. Goddamn. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Vicky. I'm trying to record some news. <laughs> See? Sorry, Vicky. 11 minutes, Andrea said. I'm going to upload the next video after we get to Salem. Especially in John Brady. It's John Brady. Mrs. Vicky, I apologize for what I did to you. Okay, so can, sorry. We, can we please stop? I don't want to talk about it anymore. I've got a headache. Stop. Okay? My mother Patty gives you headaches. Dave Selesky, meteorologist. Samoa Joe. Out here, so you better be ready for icy roads in the morning. Live on West Burnside, Bob High. K2 News. Ready for anything for sure, Bob High. Thank you. <laughs> Bob High, thank you. School districts are keeping a very close eye on that forecast. And starting tomorrow, districts will send transportation crews to drive the routes around 3 a.m. to check the road conditions. Officials expect to know by 5 a.m. that delays or cancellations are needed. If early releases are necessary, they'll make the decision around noon each day to give parents a couple of hours to make arrangements. 
ultimately our goal is just to keep keep everybody safe. Um, we want to have kids in school, but only if they can be there safely. I can help preach so and hide to me. Ashton Kutcher. Let's hear how. Okay, where is my other phone at again? Where? I don't know. No, where's the other phone? I can show you the video. Of the where's my other phone? I don't know. I'm not doing this again. Andrea Patty can help you. My mother can help you. Sorry for now. Hush, little Vicky, don't no, you cry. I want you Everything's to little gonna be a, all right. No, Sarah's gonna. Oh, it's just Sarah's gonna hold you. I think I'm right. I don't know. Andrew's in here right now. We don't know why. We see how we feel inside. I'm sorry, Vicky. Salem. Today is Monday. McKay High School. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah! Nailed it. Sister Douglas Salem. And the man accused of murdering the teen. Who's the junior McKay? He was a good What's kid. That? He He's didn't want to get into any trouble. Landon Ortiz tells me his younger 17-year-old stepbrother, Alfredo Jr. Hernandez, was part of his heart. He was always so thoughtful of my mom, and he always thought before he acted or said things. It's a little hard to believe, you know, because, I mean, I grew up with him, and now all of a sudden... On the evening of January 22nd, Salem police say Junior was shot in the head at the Columbia Clark. Village Apartments on Fisher Road Northeast, just around the corner from his home. Next up, Silverton and Fisher was arrested on February 8th on unlawful use of a weapon and felon in possession of a this weapon charges. Is. Last week, the States and Journal reported he was indicted for Junior's murder. His junior got involved in his something he had no idea he was about to get involved. Five for six. Landon says his stepbrother was simply dropping off some friends at the apartment complex when gunfire erupted. Joe. He remembers being home at the time and hearing about the shooting from one of his Mr. Douglas right there. After that, I immediately reached out to my mom and I told her, hey, I just got a call and Eduardo was saying Junior just got shot. She immediately took action. And she got her car and Junior didn't survive. On the street. Like this guy's saying, Leonard and she's saying. And she said she basically knew because she saw. She saw his shoes laying in the road. And when she saw his shoes, she stopped. And she looked over to her left, and she said that's where she saw Junior just laying there, still motionless. And she saw two other people hovering over him, giving CPR. Segura is due to be arraigned in court here tomorrow morning. Landon says he wants to ask him whether he meant to yeah. allegedly shoot Junior on purpose and why he was hanging out with a bunch of teenagers. I asked a single police spokesman about Landon's claim, and he referred me to the DA's office telling the officers are not releasing any information at this time. Landon Salem, Joe Douglas, KT News. Jeff, thank you. Landon Salem, Joe Douglas, KT News. Across the news. are leaning on lawmakers for change following...